long time ago, but it wasn't with my family. But still, I never listened to their opinions, and to this day, I don't tell my friends or my family any arguments that we might have, and surprisingly, we have, like, no arguments, so that's why I'm just, I'm so happy, I'm so happy to be here, <laughs> and to say that I am going to be fulfilling my dreams of getting married before I'm 30. It's exciting, but more of the story is, I just honestly wouldn't talk about anything negative about your relationship to other people, just because you're also just kind of giving them an image of some small little portion of your relationship that might not be the whole picture. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just a controversial take is date whenever you want to date if you think you're too young to have anything serious. That's totally okay. But if you are young or even older, you find someone you met like two months ago and you're like madly in love with them and you want to marry them that year, just do it. You could get a divorce after. You know, and I mean like I know some divorces can get messy, but I don't know. I think just do it because you might think back on this day like 20, 30 years from now and have that what if thought. What if I would have gotten married to them? What if I would have taken that uh, relationship seriously? There's just going to be a lot of what ifs and what if you did? What if you didn't listen to other people's opinions? Things could have been so much different. So much different. friends this advice, but, you know, only, only you can decide if you want to follow that advice or follow the advice of other people saying that, um, you shouldn't date young, you shouldn't take your date seriously or whatnot, but, yeah, I think quite the opposite, but honestly, I'm just like, do whatever the fuck you want to do, because it's not my life. You're not, your, your actions are not affecting me, and my actions are not affecting you, correct? I mean, unless you're here to sleep, then I guess my actions of making this video are affecting you. <laughs> but, I'm just rambling about my own opinion on relationships. So, you don't even have to listen to me. <laughs> I hope you don't listen to me, but I hope you don't listen to other people. Do what you want. Simple, that simple. Let's take another hit. We got a train in the background. You already know how I feel about trains and planes. Or do you know how I feel about trains? It's the same way I feel about planes. Reminds me of my uh, childhood. I love trains, they're so, so soothing. One of my old apartments, um, we lived right next to a train, the producer and I. And uh, horrible for your internet connection. We would always have, like, outages and shit. Um, slow internet, spectrum, you know, you know spectrum. <laughs> but, uh, I do wish we lived by one now. I mean, I kind of do it, clearly, if you are that. <laughs> but, uh, I hear more planes out here. But, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Alright, let's take a hit, because I've just been yapping. Yapping, yapping, yapping. Also, try to move the camera angle a little more so you could see a little more of me and not just the window because I kind of messed up on the last Sun and Moon video. So I do apologize about that, but let's stick it. Summer 
is coming. I'm so excited. Sorry, I feel like you can't see me. Should I get up? Should I get up a little bit? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Is that any better? Let's listen to the birds real quick. if you didn't. But, uh, yeah, we would go nuts. 
cereal it was, but they were big, very, 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 very sticky. But they did the job, man. They did the job. So yeah, I don't go out like all out like that anymore because I have to be a little more conscious about my money spending. Man, maybe um, someday I could do a video of just rambling about how I got my money situation together, my money habits together, because wow, did I learn quickly. <laughs> and uh, I try to give my friends tips about it, but again, people just, they do what they want to do, and that's a good thing, because we, we all learn at different paces. But, um, yeah, it'd be fun to share my, my journey, my money management journey, I guess. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm doing pretty okay. Um, but I have to be a little more frugal.
smaller of a portion than, you know, like a pack of thighs or something, like chicken thighs. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I'm just rambling here. Sorry that I'm taking up some of your time today. I hope you don't mind too much, but yeah, it was fairly easy, you know, not having to buy meat at the grocery store and then saving a, a few dollars, um, so maybe that's why it was easier for me. <laughs> but it's getting summertime. It's getting to summertime. I want to start grilling. I've only ever watched my family grill before. So I'm no grill master. But I, yeah, and I barely know what to do. So I'm excited to start learning. Just doing dad shit out here. <laughs> Man, is it raining now? It might be. a surprise. Surprise. <laughs>